Despite some heavy losses by some hedge funds, though, uh, most firms ended January in the green. Our Leslie Picker has a roundup of that. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Carl. Hedge funds are basically the Tom Brady of the investing world. Regardless of what team they play for, how many Super Bowls they've been to, their age, they just find a way to win under pressure. This, of course, coming from a very sad Chiefs fan this morning. But in all seriousness, that whole narrative of the little guys beating out the big guys in January over GameStop, well, it's gotten a little muddied in recent days. New data shows that hedge funds actually posted gains for the month. On average, they were up about 0.9 percent, according to HFR. The bigger funds fared even better with the asset-weighted average, indicating returns of 3 0.4% for the month. Hedge funds also bested the S&P 500 and a widely used bond index. But the disparities were very wide during the month. The winners won big. The losers faced very significant losses. With the bottom decile down nearly 8% on average, the top up 11.6%. Melvin Capital, perhaps the poster child of losses in the whole GameStop saga with 53% declines for January, thanks to those uh, bet against GameStops and GameStop and other names. Another fund called Sedinvest Management, though, took the opposite side of that trade and profited $700 million. Still, the latest data, just a reminder that the hedge fund industry is not monolithic. The industry has over 9,000 funds, $3.6 trillion and assets. Some of them suffered and some of them did well, guys. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.